Hi there. So I wanted to talk today a little bit about something that's really been on my mind and I've just been, I've been compelled to share it. If it's valuable to you, awesome. Give me a thumbs up. And if it's not, that's fine. Just keep scrolling. But I wanted to talk today about what I think is perhaps the worst part of all of this stuff going on. And I don't mean to minimize by any, any stretch of the imagination. I'm not trying to minimize the virus and the tragedies um, from people who have been ill or who have died. Um, I'm not trying to minimize the inconvenience that many of us have suffered, the loss of income and work, um, the ability to visit with people. So I'm not minimizing any of that. But I want to talk about what I think is the most insidious of everything, and that's the fear. And the reason I say that is because fear has a frequency. Fear is a very strong energy. And the more we're afraid, the more we emit the frequency of fear. And, you know, in one way, you could say that much of this has been caused due to the frequency of fear. I mean, going to the grocery store and, you know, trying to hoard everything. I mean, that's scarcity mode. That's scarcity mode, no matter what. And, you know, so I, I go and I try to help people um, learn to meditate. And it may seem like, well, that's crazy. How is meditating going to help anything? But I want to explain how it does and how it will. And in this group, or if you're not in this group, and I put this on YouTube, on Facebook, the uh, Intention Academy is the name of the group. But hopefully you're watching this if you're in this group. Um, and so I put a free meditation. I, I tagged it as an announcement. It's 15 minutes and it's free and it, it incorporates some breath work and a little guided meditation. And the reason it's so important, and it doesn't matter if it's my meditation or someone else's, the reason it's so important is this, because we have to get rid of the fear of frequency by raising our frequency to that of faith and gratitude and love and generosity. Now, one of the things that people tell me is that, oh, Tamara, I just can't meditate or metacreate. I just, I can't slow my busy brain down. So I want to talk a little bit about that. Your busy brain means your brain waves are in high beta. And when your brain waves are in high beta, first of all, the prefrontal cortex, where you have all your logic and you figure things out, your rational, logical mind can't operate. Because when you're in high beta, cortisol is rushing through your system and your brain, your prefrontal cortex is literally blocked off to, to I think it's like 70% of its normal working capacity. That's some pretty big important numbers right there. 70% important number. Okay, so when, when you're in that state, of course you can't calm down. How can you calm down? Because cortisol and scarcity put you in what we call survival mode, fight or flight, of course you can't calm down. That's, that's your body is saying, we need to outrun a saber tooth tiger. There's no way you're going to take a meditation break. Your brain will not let you. It is, it is in your brain's best interest. It thinks it's in your best interest to keep you alert and awake. And the, this is the reason that people can't meditate. This is it. This is the reason because we can't slow our brain waves down. So, so if we can't slow our brain waves down, how do we do that? First of all, you have to understand that when you are in high beta, when you are stressed out and you are in survival mode, you are working from the neck up. That's it. You're working from the neck up. It's when we're in meditative state, we are including our body. We're including our hearts, right? So one of the first things that you want to do and included in the meditation that I've offered for free is listen with headphones because those binaural beats and I also use a Tibetan... Uh, Tibetan singing bowls. So the music and the sound waves will help synchronize your brain and also help reduce your brain waves because you've got to get in at least alpha if you want to get into a meditative state. You got it. That's just all there is to it. So when you do that in the breath work that I put on this particular meditation, you're going to find that it's easier to, to relax. But one of the things I want to talk about is that 
Let me check my time. I have a meeting coming up. One of the things I want to talk about is how important yoga is. And yoga isn't important so you can sit and cross-legged and chant and do poses. It's important because it prepares your body and your brain for meditation. Back thousands of years ago when yoga was first developed by the sages, it included no movement. The movement was added because even back then, the old monks had a hard time settling the hell down. Think about that. So they added the poses and the movements so that we could bring our brains and our bodies into harmony and alignment. Okay. So, so when you do some sort of yoga and I'm going to tell you right now with the lockdown, you can get free yoga anywhere. So many good Samaritans, good, good yogis are offering it. You can do it streaming, you know, or you can just do it for really a low price. So, so I really strongly encourage yoga because it will help you meditate better. And remember when you meditate, you're slowing everything down. And what are you doing with the fear? The fear is adios amigos. You cannot vibrate at the frequency of fear. If you're, you know, at a place of harmony of inner harmony. And from that comes love and peace. And the more of us that are vibrating at that level, the quicker this is all going to be over. So if someone says, Oh, you're so silly, Tamara, telling people to meditate and they can cure the coronavirus. Okay. I didn't say it exactly like that, but if you know me and if you've read any of my books or watch my videos, you know, I'm a big fan of science and just about every single thing I teach comes from a scientific perspective. But now what we're learning from science is that faith is scientific. I mean, it sounds crazy, but it's absolutely true because we know about energetic frequencies. We know that human beings uh, vibrate. And when we're all vibrating and putting out a frequency of fear, we're making matters work worse. So what we want to do is just take that 15 minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day, and, and bring your brain and your body to, to some sort of restful, relaxed state. And then think about the way you want things to be. Give thanks, whoever you pray to, whatever great creator, infinite intelligence, the universe, God, whatever, give thanks for what you want to have as if it's already here, you know, and that's the secret. That's the real secret of everything, creating a new reality. That's the secret. And right now we want to create a reality where life is at least back to normal, right? We want to create a reality where you can go outside of your home and you can meet your friend for cocktails and you can go see your clients, go back to work, do everything that you used to do, you know, and then from there, let's take it to another level. But for right now, just take that time every day. And I promise you, I promise you things will end faster. Okay. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you are well.